Hey, this is Steve from the Tech Circuit Group, and this is a video about how to build this electronics workbench. Built this a couple months ago, and it's um, worked out quite well. It's got plenty of room, uh, and it's got a lot of utility, and really kind of makes it easy to repair and build stuff. Here's some of the features. It's got um, about 12 square, square feet of shelf space, uh, 24 square feet of bench space. It's eight feet long, so you know, you can make it shorter if you want, but um, I recommend eight feet because you're probably gonna use up all that room and hopefully you have a place to put it. It's got front and rear power strips. Uh, they're really long, so hopefully there'll be enough uh, plugs there to do everything you need. Uh, that has turned out to be the case with me. Uh, under, under, under lighting, LED under lighting, which is controlled by this little controller right here. It's really bright. And these magnetic tool holders, which have, actually turned out to be quite handy. Here are some of the materials. Now, I'm not gonna read it off, but you can always just pause the video if you wanna stop and take a look at it. There's uh, primarily four sources, I guess. Uh, most of them are just gonna be Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, and one of them is, uh, is Harbor Freight. So you're gonna start off with the plywood and just cut it like this. I uh, just used a regular circular saw to do this and just cut some really straight lines. Um, not rocket science here, but this is how you want to cut it in these dimensions. And these are the two by fours. Uh, you're going to need all these cut just like this. Pretty self-explanatory right there. I use a uh, chop saw, which makes them really nice and exactly 90 degrees. These over here are... Um, what is going to control the lateral um, support of the workbench. Uh, you're going to cut these at exactly 45 degrees and just, just make sure that everything's measured as, as shown. Down to below here is a baluster. It's a, you know one of those two by two boards that you find on a deck uh, for the railing. And you just need to buy one of those or like a dollar. And you need a 12 inch piece. This is just to help support the shelf. The top of the, the tabletop support consists of just this right here. These are some of the pieces you've already cut. And uh, where it shows these legs, this is a cross-sectional view. That's the leg actually going down toward the floor uh, or up in the air, whichever the case may be. It doesn't really matter at this point. It's all symmetrical. But you're going to lay the 2 by 4s These are 2 by 4s all on their, on their edge, you know, laid up like this. And then uh, you're going to use the um, construction screws, the two and a half inch construction screws to uh, bolt them together. I recommend drilling holes in them first before you put the construction screws in. And that way you're not, um, you know, break those screws off and uh, you'll spend more time, uh, you know, actually um, attaching this to this rather than having to try to drive the screw through the initial uh, two by four. So this is what you'll end up with. This is just laid on the tabletop just to kind of size it up. So the tabletop actually has a, an overhang right there, which is going to kind of facilitate uh, a couple of things you'll just see later on in the uh, video. And um, there's the fifth leg is actually not shown in this image because I had to piece this video together. Now, when you um, get to this point, uh, in order to make these legs straight and uh, uh, square, I just got a couple of pieces of scrap wood and screwed them in there just to make sure that they were exactly this distance apart, outer edge to outer edge of these two by fours right here will be 21 inches apart. So it's 21 inches from here to there. And once you put that up, once you make that measurement, put those screws in and you can put the cross members in. These are the cross members. You know, they're, they're, the cross members that you cut earlier are all different. Well, two are the same and the other two are different. So you can't mess this up. And you just want to, this point, this part right here, this is with the bench upside down. Uh, and this is the back of the bench here. So with the bench upside down, you want to make this point is four inches from the top of this two by four right here. So that's four inches right there. And you're going to put the um, lateral supports in right there. I uh, can't mess it up. Just make sure that this is 90 degrees. It doesn't look like it because it's sort of a fisheye camera. But from here, from there to there, that's 90 degrees. 
just put that in. Just make sure that's 90 degrees. Use a uh, square to make sure of that. And this will fit right in there. And this is going to attach directly to I-4. And um, sorry about that thing. Now I can get rid of it. This is actually going to go all the way down to the tabletop. So this actually goes on the other side of this 2x4 and touches the tabletop. So the one side touches the tabletop. The other side actually uh, ends up with that leg there, and that's 90 degrees. So what it's going to look like when you're done with that part, this is the back of the bench, and this is the tabletop right there with the overhang. You're going to have an overhang right there, six inches, which, again, uh, comes in really handy, and I'll show you later. I'm going to put this. This is the back of the bench again. You're going to put the other 93-inch uh, support uh, back there. And you'll just want to just put it, you know, it's not critical exactly where it goes height-wise. I just match it up with where that junction is just so that, it, you know, it looks good from an aesthetic st uh, standpoint. And that's to, you know, kind of help support the legs, the back of the legs there. This is going to be the front of the shelf support. It's just basically um, two of these two by fours here, these 12 inch ones that you cut and a 93, and these are, this is an image of the two by fours on edge as if they were laying on the ground. And this is what it's gonna look like. Don't mind the stain because I already started staining that. So that's one, that's the front of the shelf support. This is the back shelf support. Uh, you're gonna have, it's gonna look like this. Basically, you're gonna have two of the 12 inch pieces and you're gonna have this one 93 inch piece in between them right there. Okay, like that. And then you're also going to have this small piece that was left over from cutting the plywood as sort of a backing. And uh, there's another view of that backing right there. So that's what that looks like. That back piece is on there. And then this is that 93 inch piece that goes in between the two by fours. So you got that piece and you got that piece. And you're going to have, and this is going to be the back. And you're going to have a one and a half inch overhang. So that's how you're going to arrange to get a one and a half inch overhang. Overhang. That's by design. There's a special reason for that. So you want to make sure you got a one and a half inch overhang. But don't put the bolts in there yet. Don't put the screws in yet, because we're going to use the actual uh, power strip as a guide. Because uh, we're going to make that flush with the top of this shelf, and that'll determine the exact distance right there from the end of the shelf to that two by four. Um, okay. So then. You can just stain it as uh, needed. And, um, uh, or sand it and then stain it as needed, uh, if as desired. You don't have to do that, but I recommend doing it. I would recommend using the stain and the polyurethane because that's gonna make your table a lot more durable. If you spill something on it, it'll just, it'll just be right up and come right off there, so. Uh, this is your, um, the power strip's going to go on the front of this front piece here. Those are your tool holders. They're going to go all the way to the end of the 93-inch pieces, but not over the uh, the, the upright 2x4s. They're just going to hit the edge right there. And then this is your power strip. There's your switch right there. So this is going to be the front shelf support. And you got that overhang. Again, we haven't bolted this top the top of the shelf on yet, but you got that overhang right there. And that's going to be equal to the distance here of this uh, power strip. So that power strip is going to be flush with the front of the shelf. You don't need to worry about right, that right now. Just get that power strip centered on there. You're going to have some space there and some space here. You're going to put the LED controller right there if you decide to put the LED lighting in. Okay, so this is the back of the shelf support right there. And that is going to have a power strip right centered in the back as well with the switch and the cord on the right. You can see there's the cord and uh, on the right hand side. And this is the under view of it here. Uh, we've put it back on the shelf and you can see, this is the actual front. We're just sizing this up. This is the front of the shelf. And that right there, the overhang of this shelf is exactly what it needs to be so that this uh, power strip is flush with the top of that shelf. And this is, this is the shelf flipped back over, and you can see that's the front of the shelf, and it's flush with that um, power strip there, so you have easy access to it. And that's the edge of your, um, your tool holder right there. Um, so, all right, so at this point, yeah, you do want to put the construction screws in, uh, the one and a quarter inch 
to bolt um, the top, this top to the uh, frame right there. Because you're going to flip this back over and do something else. But it's time to go ahead and bolt this uh, top shelf to the uh, shelf frame right over there. I just did it on the four corners there, there, and these other corners here, and some of, and one on the back. All right, so we flip the back over. We're going to put the bolster in. That bolster is going to go right centered um, toward the front. And don't mind these LED lighting here because you'll, we'll do that or we'll show that later. The bolster location is going to go in the front. This is the front of your shelf, and it's going to go right there, but it's going to go up against the underside of the shelf. The reason for that is so that the shelf doesn't bend when you put equipment on it. This provides extra support. All right, and uh, so you can see that bolster right there. So this is, uh, if you want to put the LED lighting in, you can use the, um, it comes in a, a roll like that. So this is a, this is what turns out to be the right side of the shelf under between the tool holder and the power strip. This is your LED controller. All right, and then um, you put it in there. Then you can just take this LED lighting. I just strung it along here underneath the shelf and also in the front there, so you get a good lighting down there in the front as well. Um, again, that's the back of the shelf. But I put LED lighting there and there, and uh, it's really, really bright, actually. And I use the uh, cable clamps uh, that are in the um, parts list there. They're just little plastic cable clamps to handle all this wiring to you know keep this wiring uh, clean and um, well routed. So once you do all that, um, you've got that baluster there. Um, we have not attached this whole shelf assembly to this tabletop yet. The reason is because we want to size this up. We want to make sure the back of this um, is the back of this shelf is flush with the back of this table. And then um, that baluster that you had um, put into the, um, um, into the uh, underneath the shelf here is going to be, you know, the other side is down here. It's going to be up against the table. And what you want to do is you want to bolt this to this table here. You don't want it just wobbling around. So get the shelf well positioned draw a pencil line around this and then scoot this whole shelf over, drill a hole right there in the center where you where that footprint was. Once you do that, you know exactly where to put a screw. This is underneath the table now. You're gonna put this back where, after you drill this hole, you're gonna put this back over this. Everything, make sure the shelf is all positioned properly. And uh, just refer to the images um, in the previous um, slides. You can also refer to some of these uh, successive images here. Well, that doesn't tell you much, does, does it? But this right here, that two by four is gonna be flush with the back. This actually, this backing actually sticks out a little bit in the back, but this two by four is flush with the back. So then you're going to drill that hole and you're gonna run this screw up. Once you put this uh, baluster back and get the shelf aligned, the baluster back in place, you're gonna take that screw and you're gonna screw it upward into the bottom of the um, of the um, tabletop until it screws into that bolster there. And that's going to be your support to support this whole thing, to help support it. And uh, well, I guess I didn't cover the part. So what you'll want to do is um, you're also going to want to take the um, two and a half inch construction screw, one right there, one right there, and then two on the opposite side over here and then secure this top, the top of this, um, this effectively secures the whole shelf assembly to this table. You want to use those construction screws. I ran one at an angle here and I ran one at an angle there and I did the same thing on the opposite side. So basically you've got a uh, construction screw going in there, construction screw going in there in the back, one going in there, one going in there. Uh, and that holds this whole top down. And then you also, you, of course, we have that screw that goes up in there that holds that in. So this is a um, this is an image of the workbench uh, completed. You've got your controller right there. The, the lighting is on, and you've got a, this overhang right here is really handy because you can put these types of um, implements on there. The shelf, and I've also got a, a camera holder, a phone holder for doing um, videos, and you got. And also, it's uh, it's nice because 
your legs won't run into any of the um, the frame underneath because it's six inches back. And this is plenty strong. You're not going to put anything heavy enough on the end. And I wouldn't recommend putting a microwave or <clears throat> anything on the end right there. That, but it, it's still pretty strong. I don't think it's going to break off. It's just, um, um, it'll support it. So anyway, so that's what uh, it looks like with all the equipment on it. Of course, uh, all that stuff you have to buy separately. It's not in the horse list. Uh, and then um, it's all ready to go. Start uh, building and fixing stuff. That's the workbench.